Yes, no longer will we see that lumbering presence walking towards us. No longer are we going to see him at the post office. No longer are we going to see him in church. It seems so weird to me to have him at the front of the church. Fred was always at the back of the church. If we were going to do this in a way that respected his life, we should have left him back there and I'll come up here. His name literally means the best. The best stories, the best memories, the best times, and today, the best remembered. I'll take it off for a second as my father's hat. And he loved it. And I just wanted to have a part of it. The only thing I'll be able to do with the hat is try it on. Both my brother and I, Roland, we would never be man enough to wear it. Fred Mayer was a giant of a man, known far and wide as the proprietor of Fred's Hotel in Chapeau, Quebec, something he'd done for 62 years before retiring in 2003. There are two things he very rarely did, forget a face and turn his back on somebody in need. If Fred could have been paid back for every dollar that he gave to somebody who was in need, for every time he gave somebody a meal because they didn't have an, uh, food, to eat. When he and Helen would send clothes to people when things were happening, they'd go to the store, they'd buy clothes, and it was always with the same proviso. Don't tell anyone I'm doing this. While the funeral mass and internment were very emotional affairs, the reception afterwards was anything but. In fact, it was an awful lot like an evening at Fred's. The hotel is gone, but this, this here today is like the hotel will never die. He'll never die. Just a few feet from where his legendary hotel once stood, a group of mourners have chosen to celebrate Fred's life the way they would have celebrated it if he were still alive. The Upper Ottawa Valley has been a host to colorful characters, but in my opinion, there's only been one legend, and that legend, without a doubt, is Fred Mier. He loved people. He loved talking to them, making them welcome. And somebody else will come along and do it, maybe not here, but somewhere else in this valley, because this valley is very important and has a great Canadian history. Finally, for anyone who is ever in Fred's Hotel at 3 o'clock in the morning, an appropriate and familiar way to sum up the day. Happy trails to you. In Chapeau, Quebec, Doug Hempstead, A News. Again.